Hello everybody, welcome to OCHD and welcome to yet another Jump Uti Heroes predictions video. This is going to be the first of three videos covering the sort of Christmas New Year period because, well I mean let, let's get the roadmap up so I can sort of explain this a bit better. Uh, we do know for a fact that we are going to be getting the 20 million downloads milestone celebration and there's also a few other bits that are sort of strung around this end of December, start of January time. And it's a little bit hard to tell if there's going to be like one big event, a big event broken up into multiple pieces, one smaller event, one larger event, two large events. There's a lot they can fit during this period. And it's just a little bit difficult to figure out exactly what they're going to do. So... These three videos are sort of all predicting potentially for the same event, but also potentially just kind of uh, exploring the possibilities of three of the things that we, we sort of know are coming. So I, I, I have broken it into three categories. The first, which is this video, is about the little part here between December and January that says that dual unit will appear and we're going to discuss who I think that dual unit will be. I will then have a video focusing on what I think the Christmas event could be and then another video focusing on what I think the New Year's event could be. So to get things started, who is that dual unit? This one's a bit tough <laughs> because I was pretty sure it was going to be Astro and Yuno. I've said this before. I was fairly convinced Astro and Yuno was the pick for this one. That during the Black Clover event, we'd get somebody else, Noel, perhaps, you know, some other limited. And then for Christmas slash New Year, the dual unit would be Astro and Yuno. It is clearly not, because <laughs> we have that dual unit. So. Who could it be? I think we're actually sort of running out of realistic options for who it could be. Um, a lot of the sort of bigger, more prominent ones have all, have all been added. You know, Goku and Vegeta, Naruto and, and Sasuke, Ace and Luffy. Like, a lot of the ones that come immediately to mind when you think of dual units, they're kind of already there. And short of adding characters from, say, like, series like Prince of Tennis, you have uh, um, Kikamaru and Oishi. Yes, they make sense as a dual unit, but is that really going to be advertised as a big deal? Like, it's that dual unit. It's just not. And you've got to remember that New Year, they always had something big for New Year. So if they're talking about that dual unit, it's going to be something big. But what I have for you today is nine potential dual units. And I think all of these fit the bill. I think all of these have the potential to be that dual unit. And I, I, I don't know. <laughs> if it's none of them, I will be sort of shocked, but very interested to see who it actually ends up being. So to start things off, let's start with Joseph Joestar and Caesar Zapelli from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Battle Tendency. Part 2 JoJo has not got a lot of content. Admittedly, Part 1 also doesn't have a lot of content, but Part 1 is shorter. It's a lot shorter. Typically speaking, it's considered to be a lot less popular than Part 2. And sure, Part 1 and Part 2 are sometimes thrown in together as like, it's the stuff that showed up before stands happened and the rest of the series started. But loads of people loved part two. Loads of people loved these characters. So it's very odd that we haven't had more content. And I've predicted before that we might get like Lisa Lisa at some point. Didn't happen. We don't have all the pillar men. That's kind of weird. We could always get another version of cars. That still hasn't happened. It's very, very odd, and it's been a long time since we got so. I think the last thing we got was, like, Stroheim as a legend summon. 
<laughs> but that's it. <laughs> that's it. No new characters in such a long time. These two, as a dual unit, I think we can all agree would be very nice. And for me, this is one of the most obvious same series pairings from a big series that is still missing. Option number two, Son Goku and Arale Norimaki from Dragon Ball and Dr. Slump, respectively. Actually, you could say they both sort of coexist within the same universe. Like, you could, you can call Arale a Dragon Ball character. It's not wrong. She does appear in Dragon Ball. So, even though she's from her own series, there's, there's a bit of synergy there. Um, I, I would say this is sort of the optimal, perfect crossover dual unit. Don't get me wrong, some of the things they've done in the past, pretty cool. Goku and Luffy, pretty cool. I personally wasn't a big fan of the of the World Trigger My Hero Academia thing. Like, I like some of the ideas at play there, but the dual unit specifically, what I did, I could see what they were going for. It wasn't for me. This, on the other hand, <laughs> this works. This 100% works, because they are two characters from two different series that canonically work together at some point and sort of coexist within the same... I don't know if it's the same universe technically, but it's sort of the same overall story-verse, if that makes any sense. They're, they're both works by the same author, and they're two characters that work very well together. I, I know I've got on the screen the picture of them with the swap costumes, but it doesn't need to be. It could just be like the two of them on Kintuan or something like that. But yes, <laughs> please, please add these two, because I know this is one that a lot of people would go for. Number three, Ashirogi Muto from Bakuman. We actually have both these characters already. Takagi and Mashiro both already added to the game, but it was a very long time ago. Bakuman hasn't really had much since. But a lot of people would agree that these two should really be together. It's uh, in our A collection, they are together. In Jamputi, okay, they're separate, but you, you could just make a new version and put them both together. There's no reason not to. Um, Akuman also really does deserve more content. Um, it's got a lot of characters that I like that haven't been added. And it's uh, it's got a lot of untouched stories that I'm starting to think might not get added to Jamputi at some point, which is a shame. I'm not expecting a feature festival, but maybe just this one character, that would be better than nothing. Um, and especially because you could put it in like an ensemble event or whatever. It's not even like they need to counter everything. You know, you don't need to add a Bakuman catastrophe stage or whatever. You can just add them as a standalone. If you want to add a Bakuman catastrophe stage, I'm not going to say no. But I think they should be added. They deserve to be added as a dual unit. Whether they are necessarily big enough to be that dual unit for New Year, okay, maybe not. But I would love to see them regardless. Next up, we have Kurako and Kagami from Kuroko no Basuke. This series makes no sense to me, the way it's been handled in Jamputi, because it they added, like, a bunch of characters quite near the start, and it felt like they were going to continue. Like, they were going to add the whole generation of miracles and, and some of the side characters, and it was just going to keep going like that. And it just... it, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. furiko has got basically no content in, in so, so long. You could argue Kuroko did show up in a Legend Summon at one point, but other than that, there's nothing so it's a real shame and at the bare minimum giving us a new version of kagami a new version of kuroko at some point would be nice but if you want to just chuck them in as a as, as a dual unit that's okay 
Something that definitely applies here to Kuroko and Kagami and also to Ashirogi Muto is, and actually, now that I mention it, to Joseph and Caesar too. These are characters that we already have version ones of that potentially at some point were getting sprite revamps. Logically, even if they're not going to release sprite revamps at this point, if that has been worked on, you could just chuck those revamp sprites together into one unit and you can sell it as a limited. People will pull for this. Do you know how long it's been since we've had Kuroko stuff? Like, if you give us a limited, people will pull, I guarantee it. Again, is Kuroko no Basuke really going to be the series that, that props up New Year? Probably not. And there is definitely an argument that the dual unit doesn't even necessarily need to be a limited. It could be a free-to-play unit. We don't know. But I would like to see them added at some point. If not as a dual unit, just, just added, <laughs> like new versions of them. But now that we've got um, the Haikyuu dual unit of Kageyama and Hinata, it feels fitting that at some point Kagami and Kurako would show up. Next up, number five, we have Light and Ryuk. This one I would say is actually one of the weaker picks. Even though I feel like Light deserves a limited, and I would love to see Light get a limited. We've already got two versions of Light, we've already got a version of Ryuk. And they're not really two characters that actually work together that often. I mean, sure, they're shown together a lot, but. Most of the time, Ryuk's just kind of sitting there watching while Light does his thing. And then when Light fucks up or <laughs> whatever, he's like, alright, come on, I'll just, I'll do what I gotta do. Like, Ryuk's just there for fun. So, they're not really a tag team per se. To see them as a dual unit doesn't really make sense. But visually, we see them together a lot. And it'd just be kind of cool. <laughs> it would just be kind of cool. Um, I know lots of people love Death Note. And... Ryuk, okay, Ryuk is a free-to-play unit, fair enough. The fact that version 2 Light Yagami was a free-to-play unit with that amazing sprite, blasphemy, <laughs> blasphemy. He should have been a limited 100%, and I, I gotta say I was disappointed. So hopefully we can get a limited Light at some point, and maybe it could be Light and Ryuk, maybe it could be a dual unit, who knows. Next up, I have chosen Gintaki and Katsura from Gintama. I am not the biggest Gintama fan. I have made a decent effort of reading a decent amount of it. And as far as I had gotten, I had seen a tag team between these two characters. And you know what? It was a pretty good fight scene. In the anime, it was a pretty good fight scene. Uh, if you haven't seen it probably check it out uh but they're sort of just fighting a mob of goons <laughs> like they're not they're not fighting a specific enemy and so would make sense for like an end of year type event one that's going to have multiple different years from multiple different series they don't necessarily need to counter a gintama character so you can just put them in there as like the limited and then you can just have whoever as the catastrophe and that works Alternatively from Gintama, you could have Gintaki and Takasugi. I have been told that later in the series, that's sort of a thing. And again, it doesn't need to be like a 100% set in stone type thing, you know? Like the, the Goku and Vegeta are just kind of together. The, the Naruto and Sasuke are just kind of together. It's not the same necessarily as the, uh, as the Ace and Luffy, where it's from a very specific point in the series. It's just the two characters together. <laughs> They're just together. So you could do the same here, and I don't think it would be too bad. We haven't had too much Gintama this year, so I'd be okay with it. There, there's been a couple of years where they definitely went overboard. This year's not been so bad, so I think anyone would be okay with seeing just a little bit of Gintama at the end of the year. Big banner like this, I know some people that would summon. Uh, and I think it'd be pretty cool. Next up, we have one 
Ooh, I don't know. Are people going to be happy about this? Is this expected? Uh, <laughs> I, I guess this is a bit of a common theme in these three videos you will see. Um, Gyu and Tanjiro from Kimetsu no Yaiba. I won't go too in depth on, on the specifics of the moment I'm talking about in the series because it kind of goes into spoiler territory. But Gyu and Tanjiro, we already sort of have the versions of these characters that we would expect to see together in a dual unit, just separately. We have the limited Gyu, we have the limited Tanjiro. Okay, then you could maybe argue it's not the exact same version of Tanjiro and you could switch it around, but it's definitely the right version of Gyu for that specific moment in the series. So do we really need a <laughs> dual unit of Tanjiro and Gyu? No, no is the answer, but the developers like money and Kimetsu no Yaiba is money. If you look at like the uh, the Shoseki rankings, considering the fact that Kimetsu no Yaiba is over, <laughs> it's still up there. It's not the, I don't think it's at the top no more. It might still be, I'm not sure. I don't think it is at the top anymore, but it's still like right up there <laughs> every week, even though they're not publishing any new volumes. It's still the, it, it, the story is done. Admittedly, the anime is still going on, and I guess the anime does push the sales. But I don't know. It's, it's... <laughs> Kimetsu no Yaiba is just a beast. There's there's not a lot to say beyond that. But it just it makes money. So the devs they gotta do what they gotta do, and uh, I, I'd be a little bit torn if they did add <laughs> add these two. Because I would, I would sort of want them and sort of not. But yeah, it's definitely big enough for New Year, isn't it? So I could definitely see it happening. And for number eight, we have Hinuka Man and Terry Man, also known as the Machine Guns. Out of all of these, quite fitting in particular because this series, if you haven't read Hinuka Man has a full arc dedicated to a tag team tournament so you could you could have an entire feature festival of dual units from that arc and that would be amazing except they're never going to do it but one of the prominent pairings in the series is Kinuka Man and Terry Man obviously we already have the two they still fit with the things I mentioned before of you already have the sprites from before if you were revamping them already then this will just be a simple job of sticking the two together. And I would love to see these two. I'm a little bit biased. Because I really do like Kaneko Man. And while I do love, say for example, Kimetsu no Yaiba. Kimetsu no Yaiba gets content, okay? <laughs> Kaneko Man, less so. A lot less so. And I, I would like to see this particular pairing. Whether it could happen for New Year... I sort of doubt just because it doesn't really feel like it's big enough for the end of the year I mean you you've got to remember for the end of the year we've had like um, Ace and Luffy we've had Mugetsu Ichigo we've had gear 2 Luffy talking about some big big units and I just I don't know if this is a big enough pairing to match up to that that being said you got my rubies, you got my 8250 if you do add it. And the final one is it's a bit of a weird one. But say for example, if they said we're adding that jewel unit. But when they said that, they wanted to put in your mind you start thinking of all these big ones, all these all these characters from series like One Piece, Dragon Ball, Bleach, Naruto, but the whole time it was a bamboozle, and that dual unit they were talking about is Yugi Muto and Bobobo. Bo. <laughs> I I don't think this one's particularly likely, but it would be very like these developers just to pour a cheeky little bamboozle on us, drop us a, a dual Yugi and Bobobo. Bo. Would be an opportunity for us to get a revamp Bobobo Bo sprite. We don't even need a revamp Yugi sprite. We already got that. 
And <laughs> I think it would just be maybe as a free unit. Maybe not as a limited. I suppose they could do it as a limited. But I don't think it could be like the the signature banner for New Year. I think they'd have to do someone else as the signature banner. They could definitely add this as a character. And like I said, maybe free to play. I don't know. But I think it'd be a very funny pairing. I think a lot of people would be interested in having a character like this. And it's a gag that they've touched on in the past. They have the Boba Bo ticket banner and Yugi Muto is on that. And it's like the only banner that's like free to play tickets that has the limited Yugi on it, which is crazy. Um, I think it'd be funny. I don't know. There's probably loads of pairings that I haven't even thought of. And I'm sure if there are plenty of people who who have thought of amazing pairings and i've just I, I didn't even think of them once didn't even cross my mind and if you do think of an amazing pairing please do drop it in the comments and if there's anyone you want to see that i have missed off again drop it in the comments but that's gonna do it for this video and i will see you in the remaining parts of this little series uh soon i guess i don't know <laughs>